This tutorial on ChatGPT is a brief introductory course designed for beginners. Throughout the tutorial, we will cover various topics including creating a new account on OpenAI, logging in, and using ChatGPT. Additionally, we will explore some advanced techniques for utilizing ChatGPT effectively. In Google search bar, type in ChatGPT. Now open up the first link and then you will land onto the home page of chat gpt click try gpt and then click on the sign up button here you have multiple options to sign up either you can sign up with google or microsoft account or apple or writing your email address like i'm writing here press continue now you have to type in your password that you will use to log in back. Make sure it is at least 8 characters long. Press continue. Now you have to verify your email address using Gmail. Click on the open up Gmail button here. It will lead you to your Gmail account. Please log in with your same email address that you have put while signing up. Press this verify email address button. It will lead you to the chat GPT screen where you will be asked to put your information because you are using a chat GPT for the very first time. So here you can put your name and date of birth. The next and the final step is to put your phone number for the verification. Here you have two options to receive the verification code. Either you can receive the code via SMS or WhatsApp instead, whatever you choose. And here you go i promise there's no other step left just put your code here and it will continue and lead you to the page which is waiting for you let's take a look at the main section of chat gpt here the first column demonstrates the examples what chat gpt can do for you based on the prompts you can see the first example is very helpful for those who are weak in physics like me hey you got your child birthday don't worry chat gpt has got you covered you can ask it to generate some creative ideas for your 10 year old baby's birthday are you stuck in coding chat gpt can help you you can ask chat gpt anything about your coding for example you can ask it to make an http request in javascript and it will generate a code for you also you can toggle between the dark mode and the light mode whatever you prefer by going into the settings and choosing the mode that you prefer Let's try with a very simple question. What is 4 plus 8? You can send your prompt by just clicking on the right green button or pressing the enter. It will take your prompt, understand it and then it will answer you back. Wow! Beautiful! Now this is our prompt and our prompt has darker background. And this is a response from ChatGPT and it has lighter background. Now there is one more thing, if you see this button, you can regenerate the response and it will be written in a different way. But that's not necessary, it can also be written in the same way. Let's try regenerating it one more time. You can see it is written in a different way, but the answer is same. Each time you regenerate a prompt, it is saved here and you can preview the previous prompts and the responses from chat GPT. There are three buttons given next to each response from chat GPT. The first one is used to copy the text. The next one is used to give the positive feedback and the last one is for giving the negative feedback. Let's continue the conversation and ask chat GPT about its limitation in simple three steps. Let's see what we get. Though it has many limitations but here are three out of them. You can see lack of real time information and interpretation and context and the last one is biases and subjective opinions. You can read them in detail. But. You need to be very careful while generating the prompt. Let's ask ChatGPT how good it is at math and then we're gonna see how we need to be very careful. It says that it is generally proficient in performing mathematical calculation. Let's confuse ChatGPT. I would say 4 plus 8 is equal to 14. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with our initial advanced prompt. This prompt is about the process of preparing food, specifically seed food. 
Before proceeding, I am unsure about the specific type of food I desire, so I will request assistance from ChatGPT to provide me with a list of 10 seafood dishes. Now, this is where things can get interesting, because we can now start having a look at this list and selecting options we like, such as the first two for grilled shrimp skewer and seafood paella. And then following up this conversation with more queries, I'm going to ask in the next part of this conversation if ChatGPT can create a shopping list for me based on the very first two items, those two being shrimp and seafood paella. I don't have to particularly say shrimp and seafood paella, it should just know based off the context or the conversation. And the result here is essentially creating another list, but this list does not have a specific length, it's based on the options we added in earlier. So here it provides an output that is indented and bullet pointed for each one of the dishes for the shrimp skewer and the seafood paella to let me know exactly what I would need to buy from the shop to be able to put these together. That is pretty damn cool. Now that ChatGPT has provided us a list of 10 dishes as well as shopping list for all the ingredients we would need to make one or two of those dishes. The next practical question is quite intuitive. Is can you tell me exactly how to cook for example seafood paella which is something of a thing that we would normally have to google a lot for. But based on this and the ingredients chat GPT will provide us with one final list of exactly what steps we would need to put them together. This is just a quick shopping list example of OpenAI's chat GPT. Now that you have an idea of how you can continue a conversation, let's have a look at some more examples. Speaking with the new chat, this time I'm going to use chat GPT to do some coding for me. I'm going to use one of the pre-made prompts here on how to do a HTTP request in JavaScript. This is a pretty ordinary prompt but here we will get to start to see some of the more coding aspects of chat GPT. What it can perform here, it's going to answer this question but it's going to do this in a number of ways first. It will give me some context as to what it's doing. Then it's going to give me the core snippet of exactly how to perform the function based on the prompt. I have put it in and then finally it will give me a description of what the code is specifically doing. All of this is quite useful. This is just the beginning. I am going to request chat GPT to update this request. And instead of it just being a generic API call for data, instead we are going to do grab some weather data. Now I'm going to ask if it can get me the weather in New York City and I wanted to output how this query might look like in terms of JavaScript. The response back is that OpenAI will generate the request for you. It will create a generic version of that request using a weather API that doesn't really exist. You will need to pick your own with an API key that you will need to enter but the request should look like something this. Where it's getting an example.com passing in the weather city being New York City as well as the units and passing in the API key it will then explain exactly how this get request would work as well as how it would come back in the form of JSON that you could then utilize inside your application this is all pretty useful. We haven't found everything we need yet but the next step is to ask it to change the question. This way, it can go through the data we receive from the API and put it into a website. It's important to be accurate when asking ChatGPT for different things if you have a background in programming. It might be easier because you know what you want. But if you are not sure, it can be more difficult. In this example, I am having to go through temperature, wind and precipitation data to create a new output. ChatGPT will generate code that fetches the data and creates a loop to extract the values and displays them on a website using JavaScript. The code will explain what it does and provide an example using a sample API. You will need to update it to fit your own project. There may be times when the chat GPT system is used. It's then going to create the JavaScript code to place them into a website using div element tag and then append them to the website body finally. Let's create a brief story about a rabbit and a turtle going on an adventure. OpenAI is proficient at generating such stories and it will provide us with a tale of these two characters embarking on an adventure, swimming across a river. 
Although the story carries a small moral, it seems quite generic. If we desire a more specific story based on our prompt, we should provide a more precise prompt, which is where follow-up conversation can be helpful. In this example, I want to change the story's moral to focus on patience, especially considering the rabbit and the turtle dynamic. Now, ChatGPT should be capable of rewriting the entire story with a stronger emphasis on this specific moral. Upon closer examination, it has indeed achieved this. The story contains a moral about the significance of patience, showcasing how the turtle exemplified it. Additionally, I requested the story to incorporate humor by adding a joke towards the end. Let's observe the outcome. I will just fuss for a bit and we can see that the story remains mostly the same but now it concludes with a delightful joke highlighting the notion that being slow and steady truly leads to victory in the race. Sometimes chat GPT does not complete the response. So you need to click this button in order to complete the response and it will continue where it is left. So you can see it has now completed the text. The next prompt is very interesting. In this prompt, you can ask ChatGPT to act as a doctor, engineer, writer, medical student or anything you would like it to be and it will behave in that certain way. Sometimes you want a partner who help you prepare your exam by asking you the questions and examining your knowledge like how much you are prepared for the exam. So in this case, ChatGPT can be a very good partner for you. So in this prompt, I'm going to ask Chad GPT to become a medical examiner and ask me questions. For each question, give me multiple choices like A, B, C, D and wait for me to choose one. After I choose a particular answer, say correct or wrong and move on to the next question and repeat the process. As I press enter, it will start asking me the questions. So here we go. This is our first question with four multiple choice answers. So we have to select one. So in this case, D is the correct answer. So I would type D here and press enter to give my response to chat GPT. It will check the answer and then it will respond back accordingly. So this is our correct answer. So it has responded with the correct text and with a little bit explanation. Let's try with another question and this time I'm going to give it wrong answer and let's see how it responds back. So C was the wrong answer, wrong option and it has responded back with an incorrect text. It has also told us the right answer which is option B with the briefing. So I think this is the best way to prepare for your exam without needing any person physically. So you can utilize chat GPT to prepare your exam in, a, in an efficient way. Another common way to utilize ChatGPT is for generating content such as website, text or documents, including legal and copyright templates. While you may not want to use the generated content as is, it can serve as a helpful starting point for your own modification. In this example, let's say you need to create a copyright and privacy policy for a website, which is a common task for developers. You can begin with a template outline and make it more specific to your website, like an accounting website. By providing this context, you can receive a more tailored template that aligns with the requirements of such a website. To take it a step further, you might want to adopt the template specifically for your country. For instance, if you reside in Pakistan, you can ask ChatGPT to update the templates to include relevant information specific to Pakistani legal frameworks. This way, you will receive output that includes details like the Pakistani Privacy Act and mention of Pakistani international copyright law within the template. There is another type of prompt which is useful and this is the one of writing things such as documents or cover letters or even job application altogether. I am going to request chat GPT to create a professional cover letter for a junior developer position at a company called Meta and it's going to be for myself Skander. And I want to essentially use it as something that I can do to apply for this job who knows also the basics for programming in general. So with this kind of a prompt, it's quite specific, but it will also give me specific output. So here I have generated one to a hiring manager is giving me a good introduction of who I am and what I have done apparently. I have done a bachelor degree of computer science, which is impressive as well as working at an internship called company XYZ. So all of these are things that I would make 
maybe need to update a little bit before say posting it off this also might be inaccurate i might not even have a bachelor's degree this is where we can go through and update this prompt of this cover letter say removing the fact that i have maybe no prior job experience but maybe listening out that i worked on a quite few different types of projects than when i actually was doing a boot camp in programming rather than going through university open ai will go through this prompt and update it based on the context of what it is now required and this is what makes it pretty cool because you can as essentially version out different types of cover letters here depending on your needs the real trick here is to be specific whenever you are prompting chat gpt to create an output for you but in terms of that it usually grabs the context of what you are saying quite effectively as long as you write it in a clear understood way let me continue this example now this time based on this cover letter i want chat gpt to create a resume for me that i could maybe combine as part of this application so i can simply write based on this cover letter write a resume which includes necessary details maybe work experience or maybe even other things such as languages skills etc based on the context of this i'm applying for the same position and let's have a look at what chat gpt produces so here it starts off with some essential which is like a phone number as well as for their for an email address it has a small summary if for example the person skipped reading the cover letter it then goes through and lists out my skills which is quite cool as well as the education it actually has combined a both bachelor's degree and a boot camp which are two separate things from that context Simply go to Google and type in what science says about procrastination. Click on the first website. From this website, I'm going to select a random text and copy the text from here. We can try different prompts using this text. There are many variations we can do with this text, like we can simplify this text as I'm doing right now here. I will say chat GPT to simplify the text into a few couple of sentences for me and here it has simplified the text in multiple lines like six to seven lines in total. Another prompt that we can use here is to say chat GPT to pull out the five most important keywords from the statement given above. So it will craft five important keywords that are being used in the above statement. Now to simplify it further, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to explain the statement in a way like I am 5 years old. If you read the paragraph, you will see that it's much more simpler than the original one. So we can prompt more in this way like we can ask to ChatGPT to simplify the paragraphs more in a simple form like as I said, explain the statement like a two year old. And we can also say that like explain the statement to our toddler. And in this way, you can utilize different variation of prompts to get different outputs. I'm going to explore some of the strengths of chat GPT in terms of blogging, writing, articles and editing, article rephrasing and much more. We want to create a blog topic and we are going to use chat GPT to assist in that process. We are going to request that it provides 10 topic title ideas for an article that might be something to do with say graphic design. So here we, got, here we got 10 titles for our blog post and I'm going to select the number 3 title and I will ask chat GPT to give me 5 variations on the topic. So it will generate five more variations on this specific topic. Now, furthermore, we can ask ChatGPT to provide us the outline for the title number one, which is designing the perfect user experience, a guide for graphic designers. So it will start generating the complete outline for an article and we can utilize this outline to write a complete article. Now, further in this process, we can ask Chat GPT to create a, an introduction for the article, which should be three sentences long. There are many other prompts that we can give Chat GPT to get the output accordingly. For example, we can ask it to refresh the following sentence. So it will refresh it. 
We can ask ChatGPT to lengthen or shorten a particular sentence. And here is the output from ChatGPT. It has lengthened one sentence to a paragraph. Also, we can say that make this sentence more enticing and more attractive. Furthermore, ChatGPT also works a good translator, so we can ask it to translate an English text into German or any other language that you want. And it, we can also ask it to just translate it back into English.